friends and resellers, it's Trish from Well Sourced coming at you with the second part of a thrift haul from my local Goodwill outlet slash the bins. Um, I live in Middle Tennessee where this is my full-time gig of reselling items that I buy at thrift stores and sell online, resell online. Um, I pay $1.49 per pound for items from the bins here in Nashville. And in my last video, it was primarily clothing. Um, and this one will have some accessories and only a couple pairs of shoes that I got. This location of the bins does have quite a pair of few, quite a few pair of shoes, but this day was just crazy with other resellers in there. Um, and I just couldn't stand the chaos. So this day at the bins, though, it was a little different. I felt like there was a little bit less, um, inventory out. It was a different day of the week than I typically go on. And so that was something to, I had to take into account. Um, also, there are a few things in this video that I got for myself. First off is this shirt. This is just a men's Hawaiian shirt. I am going on vacation home to Idaho where I grew up and I'm, all my family is. And while I'm home, I am going to a Beach Boys concert at a local summer festival that we have in my hometown. And I wanted to have something to throw with a tank top and a pair of jean shorts to go to this festival. And so I was actually seeking out a Hawaiian shirt at the bins this day. And so I actually was glad to find one. So there's that. Um, this is just a men's kind of gauzy shirt and it'll do perfect. So, or it will be perfect. Um, let's just start with a few accessories here. Get those out of the way. I sometimes find accessories at uh, the bins in the one I go to and sometimes there's just nothing. So this day I did find a couple of items that I was happy to bring home to resell. Sometimes I wonder why things are picked over and one, why things aren't picked up. Um, but, I don't mind, I'll come in and take it. So the first up is this Samsonite, which retails for a lot, even smaller pieces, but um, this had a little mark on it. I threw it in the wash because that's how I take care of everything. <laughs> but it's a gray trifold uh, compartment for jewelry or whatever you want to put in there, but like a jewelry case. And it just has different zippered compartments for travel. So, you know, I just picked that up. I don't wear a ton of jewelry so I don't require something like this. And this may have come as a set with something else, but um, I'm happy, I was happy to pick that up and we'll see what we can get for it. This is the cutest thing ever. The brand is Capelli and it is a, I feel like this has some, there we go. It's polyester wool on the outside. It's just a, a handbag but it's this quilted design. It looks like it's got a bunch of old quilts sewn together into this design with this braided handle. And it has just a cotton liner and a zip top. I just think this is really cute. Um, and somebody is going to enjoy that. It was in really nice condition and I just think it'll be perfect for fall and winter. In my last video, I did say that I was I was out sick. I called out sick from work for a couple of weeks, work being full-time reselling, and I had was super sick. Um, not with COVID, thankfully, but with what we assume was influenza A, super sick, took all the life out of me. Um, and so I did not post any videos or content for like the past month because I've been recovering for that. It's like the second sickest I've ever been in my life. So. Um, very grateful for my health every other day of the year. And so that is why there has not been any content. And I also feel like I've forgotten how to make these videos. And so bear with me as I remember and get back into the swing of things when I normally post my weekly content. Okay, this is a uh, corduroy bag, kind of like a hobo style. And it is in this fun green, blue, and kind of brown stripes. It has a little buckle or snap closure at the top. This is Gap, it's I'm sure vintage, um, or it's got those vintage inspired, inspired vibes, but it is uh, Gap, let's see when it was made. Yep, fall of 02, so just vintage. 
Um, but it definitely has those Y2K 90s vibes. And this is perfect. I have seen these. They were going for, you know, maybe 20 bucks on Poshmark. I do sell on Poshmark primarily. I cross list everything over though to eBay. Most of that gets cross listed over to Mercari. And I do sell a little bit on Depop. That's a lie. I don't sell much on Depop, but I do list over there. And so those are my three primary. I like to focus just on those three to keep all my listings, um, you know, up to date and kind of organized in my mind. But when I do see a slowdown on one platform, I tends to pick up on another. So those all get cross posted over to other places. Okay. Next up is a, mm -mm -mm. intimates piece, kind of a negligee or bodysuit, if I can get it buckled here. And it's a velvet. And then it has these sheer panels. And it's got velvet in the front and velvet in the this low back. And then it has attachments for stockings here. This is Fredericks of Hollywood and it is a size large. Um, so I don't mind picking up these pieces. I think that they're pretty and they tend to sell well for me, especially in that larger size. Okay, what is this? We just don't know. This is, oh, um, Ecote or Ecote size medium, which I think is just Urban Outfitters, but it's just a velvet t-shirt dress that needs to be lint rolled and perfect for fall a pair of leggings and some cute boots. I don't know if velvet's still in. Um, next up is just a gap shirt, size medium, and it is a micro ribbed pink mock neck long sleeve top. And it has this little lettuce trim here at the top and at the bottom. And <clears throat> I feel like this was from Holiday of 19. So it's in the last couple years. I will totally pick up Gap. Banana Republic, even Old Navy stuff sells. I don't have a problem doing that. So um, not going to sell for a lot, but if somebody's just looking for something to wear once or wants, likes, I love Old Navy stuff. So if I can get a good deal on the secondhand market, I'm gonna snap it up. Okay, next up is Kona Soul, which I think is just sold at Target. This is an animal print bathing suit and a size medium has some padding in the bust area. And then the back is this T-strap with kind of a tortoise shell ring. It's got some side ruching on it. And the um, crotch area was in good condition, which is always something I look at. And then the bum was in good condition, um, which is if people sit on the side of the pool, that's the first place for the suit to go. All right, next up is one of those bread and butter brands. This is from 2018, um, but it's a very nice collarless, it's kind of a structured jacket with this trim detail. It's got light shoulder padding, three quarter length sleeves, has this fun striped liner and I, it's a black denim almost. It's cotton, um, polyester and spandex, and it was from fall of 2018. But this is Talbot's, and it's Talbot's Plus Petite. So it's a 16W Petite, which I think is a pretty, I mean, plus size or extended sizes and petite. Those are, though not everything makes things in those sizes. So this is just a really cute jacket. Um, it has these little hook and eye closures down the front and I thought someone would really enjoy that this fall and winter. All right next up is Rachel Zoe size medium which I pick this up I'm not sure why I see it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls all the time and wondering if that's a stain on the front. Sometimes you look things over and you can't tell until you get it under your lights whether or not it has a mark on it. It's just a hooded sweat knit sweater. It's 70% cotton, 30% it's 
linen. So I picked it up because I liked the style of it and the fabric content. This is Banana Republic Factory um, or Outlet Premium Luxe Yarn, size small in this great mustard color. And it's just a knit top, knit sweater, lightweight, but it has this very fun scalloped neckline to it, a double scallop on it. And I love mustard colored sweaters. I think they're great for fall. <clears throat> this is 55% cotton, 40% nylon, and 5% cashmere. And so with those nice fabrics, a little bit of cashmere, and it's lightweight, this will be perfect for someone for fall. Um, and I don't mind that it's the factory. Okay, this is something that may end up in my own closet. We just don't know. Um, this is Natural Life, which is a catalog brand, but it's also sold to other stores. And so they may have a section in their store of the, this brand. Um, it's a double XL, which I don't think equates to that when you look at it, but um, it's more like an XL to me or even a large. But the front of it says, well, I have to look at it, tell you what it says. You have the power to make someone happy. The world needs more of that. And I 100% agree with that. I tend to wear Shirts sometimes that say, be kind, um, you know, be happy. There's a lot of things going on in the country, in our world, that just are pretty darn sad and depressing. Um, and so, you know, if we can make it better for somebody else and we're good human beings ourselves, that's a pretty good message. So I'd be happy to sport that shirt as much as possible if it doesn't sell. Next up is a size medium. It's pure Jill which typically is their nicer fabric line. So this is 46% Pima cotton, 30% modal, and then uh, polyester. They're a pull-on velvet pant or velour pant. And super cute. I mean, you can dress this up or dress these down. They'd be fun for the holidays or, you know, in a more casual type environment. Okay, I do not always pick up Lucky Brand, A. I don't always pick up Lucky Brand when it's in a smaller size. I like to pick Lucky Brand up in at least a medium, but typically a large and up. And this was just really cute and I couldn't, couldn't leave her behind. So it's a Lucky Brand, extra small. And it's this crochet round circle knit front, total boho top in the front. And then the back has three buttons and then it's open in the back. So this is super sweet. I just could not leave it behind. Um, and it is made of 100% cotton. I thought it was, but it's a nice natural color. It's just a very sweet sweater. So that style alone on that is pretty good. Okay, this is LL Bean Signature. It had a weird tag. I've never seen this tag before their signature line with the LL on the top. And I read it first and I was like, what's a bean signature? But it is a very heavy knit mock neck sweater in this natural gray kind of color with this olive tan almost at the bottom and at the bottom of this rounded hem. And it is 71% um, cotton, 29% linen. So it had great fabric. I do super well selling LL Bean. And so I was happy to pick this up. It's in a size large, but it is a nice roomy size large and has a little stretch to it. And I just thought that was a great piece with great fabrics. Okay, the next item, I was in a bin. They brought out a new row, which I do not go there for the initial fury. Um, uh, and frenzy. I waited till people went on to the next thing and I went in and picked over because they go so fast. People go so fast that they just pick over some good items, I feel. So I reached to the back of this bin and grabbed this. I saw the tag. I didn't even look to see what it was. And I shoved it down in my cart like someone was going to come by and steal it from me because they saw how, what, how amazing it was. But it is um, Ibex, which is um, typically makes wool things. I don't know if they solely make wool things or not, but I have only found Ibex here in Tennessee. We don't get a ton of outdoor brands here, 
not because people aren't outdoorsy. It's just not something, it's not like the Pacific Northwest or the Inland Northwest where people are doing a lot of things and wear a lot of that clothing on a daily basis. Um, the other Ibex item I found was, had holes in it and it's still sold. So this is in very nice condition. It's a woman's extra large, which happens to be my size. Um, and it is a maroon colored vest sweater vest wool vest and it's in very nice condition um I am telling myself I'm not keeping this for myself so I'm not going to but it's 93% certified merino wool and then it has a little bit of polyester I like things that can be machine washed even though I'd wash it even if it couldn't be but it's a great great piece um and so I was really happy to find that and I think that should go for at least $50 based on what I saw in comps this is a larger size, so it does have a little bit more going for it. And we're going into that season. So I think it has that going for it as well. Okay, next up is another Jay McLaughlin piece. I had one in my first um, half of this haul. And so if you want to go back and check that out, I'll link it up here. But this is a size small. This is a white tunic top popover with long sleeves in this great textured fabric. I don't like picking up white things. I'm not sure why I do. Um, but it is 100% linen. And it had these cute... Let's see if I can show it. Side button detail. Oops. Right there. So this is a really nice piece. Perfect for summer. Need to get that listed right away. All right. Next up is another Kona Soul um, piece. And it is a size... Extra large Kona sole, which I just sold, showed, showed that other tag. This is a tankini. Um, let's see if I can show. with. It's almost like a halter style neckline. It has the padding inside. And then it is not tied, of course, because why would I do that? Um, and it crosses over. And then it ties back here across the your upper back. And so... It's got a little peephole in the bust area. I saw the bottoms first and went ahead and grabbed, I was like, I'm not just going to grab black bottoms from Target, but then I saw the top. And so I went ahead and grabbed the bottoms as well. I don't know if they necessarily match the set, but they're tied on the side. They're also an extra large, <coughs> excuse me. And so I will sell those um, together. I need to get some of this stuff listed so that I can, um, get all that summer stuff out. All right, this again was in a picked over bin. So it's just funny to me. Some people are looking for vintage or for t-shirts or for shoes. You know, they have different things they're looking for, sportswear. But this is J. Jill. It's a large petite. And it is this fabulous, it's like a purple with some, I don't know, it's purple, but with some brown tones in it. Crushed velvet jacket. And... It is rayon and silk on the outside. And I wish I had buttoned it, but it is just, it's like a denim jacket, but it is um, a crushed velvet. And I think this would be so cute in the fall and for the holidays. So I was really excited to have that. All right, next up is something that I found. It was the first time finding this brand for me. It's, I believe a West Coast brand. Um, and we just don't find it here. And I saw the tag and I shoved that into my, it was like the, um, I, I back sweater vest. I was like, don't want anyone to see this. So this is Marine layer. This is a size large and it is this adorable striped tank dress with the buttons down the front. And it did have a little bit of a mark on, let's see where it is. On the front from dragging, I need to, this is the one thing I need to wash still. Um, and then the back is this crossover detail and open back here detail. So this is so cute. It has pockets. Oh, it's just adorable. And I mean, it could have been made at Target and I would be feeling the same way about it. So it's not just because it's a brand I've never found, but I was super excited to find this brand because I have never found it before. This does not have the tag in the bottom of it. 
is a cotton linen of some sort and I did see oh no I'm I lied I do have it here let's see 55% linen 45% cotton and so I need to get this one listed ricky ticky but it is it's just a super cute summer dress um that someone is going to enjoy <clears throat> What basically I, prompted me to go last week to the bins was that I, because I'm going on vacation and had been sick, I wanted to have enough stuff to get listed before I went on vacation so that the last couple days of vacation I could start listing things while I was gone, um, you know, to get back into the happy place with the algorithm. Um, so this is a brand I've never found or a collab I've never found. It's Adidas, but the Stella McCartney line. It's a size large. I didn't even look this over before I brought it home. It looks like it has some wear to it and some staining. Um, I haven't tried to wash this yet either. These are kind of the two things left in the bottom of this bag I haven't dealt with. But it's a white t-shirt and it says Stella McCartney along the bottom and it has this mesh rounded hem to it. So I just feel like it needs a good soak. Somebody loved this shirt. And quite frankly, if I can't get all the stains out of it, I can always use another workout shirt. So I don't have a problem with that. So that's it for, no, that's a lie. Not it for clothing. We're just going to do a few accessories here. Um, I do well selling Vera Bradley stuff and it doesn't always sell for a lot, but at the bins, it weighs nothing. It's quilted cotton and people tend to not pick it up at the bins for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I grabbed this. It's a little, uh, makeup case travel bag with a little handle on it. A very cute, vibrant pattern. And then it has the liner inside for your makeup and or jewelry, whatever you want to stick in there. This inside, I did wash it. It has a few marks remaining from like an eyeliner or some other makeup, but I am going to look up comps on this. I will probably list it, but I do my travel bag that unfolds broke recently. So I might just take this one when I go back to Idaho next week or in a couple weeks. This is another Vera Bradley bag and it was a different looking bag than I'd seen before. It's um, kind of a tote with this fun yellow and blue pattern. I always use Google Lens to find at least the pattern so that you know the name of it because people specifically look that pattern up. Um, the inside of it is just an open bag with a couple slip pockets and it has just fun handles. These were in really good condition. I always check the corners because they tend to get worn. I have a Vera Bradley duffel bag that I travel with quite often and it is worn out. So um, I just know that people do love these things. All right, next we're gonna get into a few things that I just grabbed for myself. When you're at the bins and you don't, you just are like, oh, I, that's cute, I'll take that home. And if it doesn't fit me, I'll sell it for $5. <laughs> I mean, it's not the end of the world. However, this is just Wild Fable, so Target. It's an extra large, super soft flannel. And um, I love it. I can't wait to wear it this fall. And it has pockets, which I are find amazing. <laughs> I use them for everything and I like having them. So it's just a super soft flannel that I got for myself. And then I got myself this Old Navy top. It's just a popover with this yellow. I think it's spring, fall, summer. I can wear it kind of multi-season. And when I go home this vacation, I am going to um, a concert for the Beach Boys, another country concert. Also, it's my cousin's daughter. Well, she's also my cousin. It's her bridal shower. And I needed something to wear to that. And I had just been on Old Navy looking for some dresses, but I just found this. It's a super summery dress, um, sleeveless, button front, a little bit of a V-neck. It's a midi length and it has some tears on the bottom and it has just a fun summer print. So I was glad to pick that up for $1.49 if it even weighs a pound <laughs> um, rather than buying something new from Old Navy. So sometimes I will buy things new, especially jeans, because I just don't find things in my size um, that fit me right. So I like specific pants. But um, the secondhand market is such a nice way to avoid having something because even if I only wear this three times, I it's still got more use than going to the landfill and that makes me happy in my soul. This is Athleta. It's a size large. It is a tank with a racer back sheer. 
It's a little snug on me, but I like it because it's fitted so it can go under a sweatshirt. That was just for me. It was an older style. I think it was from 2015. So um, I didn't, wasn't buying that to resell. I might if I end up not wearing it, see what happens. This is also from Target Universal Thread. It's a gauzy button front shirt. And this fun kind of pink and well, almost orange color, just a button front. While I'm home, I'm hoping to also go to the rodeo. So this is why I pick this time of year to go home to my hometown in Idaho. <laughs> um, that's not super Western, but let's be real, it's plaid, it'll, it'll fly. This is just an old navy top as well. And it's a really lightweight striped, like indigo and white shirt. So that's great. And that does it for all the things that I purchased for myself. Okay, I'm not going to show every item in this next <clears throat> bundle, we'll call it. But I happened upon a uh, ton of newborn through six months, but mostly newborn zero to three and a few three to six month boys or bluish um, items. And I just grabbed them all because they're not anything to write home about. It's like Gerber, Carter's, there were a few Gap, a couple other brands I didn't know. There were some Swaddles, um, the Children's Place, and uh, it's literally probably 20 pieces of things. Mostly... <clears throat> pajamas there's some like rompers and we don't use the word onesie but onesies long sleeve and short sleeve but perfect for somebody who is going to be having a newborn probably going into fall or when it gets cooler in their area um just a ton of things to get someone started and then this little jump man <laughs> michael jordan um this is a three month kind of sweatsuit, which was really cute. So I'm just going to lot that lot together. I don't know the total amount of items that were in there. I think almost 20 and just sell it. The reason why is because A, having babies are expensive, I suppose. Um, but B, seeing this go to a landfill, these are like in brand new condition. So if this doesn't sell, I will simply donate it to somebody who needs it, to a women's shelter, to somewhere that needs very gently used clothing. Um, because People need these items. This is maybe two pounds, maybe three, who cares? It's $5 or less worth of clothing in this huge amount. Even if I only make 15 on it, there's just something about not sending these items to a landfill that make me happy. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing it. All right, next up is a fun pair of pants. <clears throat> they are made of viscose and then 20% linen. And then it has a kind of a contrasting um, on the inside that's cotton. But it is a pair of cropped green pants. The brand is Mod Cloth. It's a size 26. Just a fun pair of lightweight knit pants or lightweight brushed kind of cotton linen pants. There's a few strings I need to take care of, but perfect piece. Loved that. Like mod cloth stuff. It's fun. All right. Next up is a men's shirt. It's a size large and it is 100% cotton, I believe. 100% organic cotton. This is an older piece because it is by the brand Horny Toad, which is now Toad & Co. But they make kind of that organic cotton I lied. This is a women's shirt. I don't know why I thought it was a men's shirt. Um, but it has these fun little, little print to it. So um, I went ahead and grabbed it, even though it's an older piece and it's no longer called Toad & Co. <laughs> and then it has this kind of crossover detail in the back. So anyway, I like the clothing that they make. I think it's cute. This is Express, the essential shirt. It's a size large. I don't always pick up Express shirts, unless it's maybe the Portofino shirt. Is that what it's called? Um, anyway, this is a blue pinstriped button front blouse, but 
It has this fun satin animal print contrasting hem or on the cuff and then underneath the collar. And just that little bit of spice up your work life. Um, I went ahead and picked this up because I thought that was cute. This is just a pair of men's Hurley board shorts. It's a size 31, which is an odd size. Um, well, it is an odd number, but it's a not typical number. You don't always see a 31 in a lot of things. Um, it has just a zipper pocket in the back, and it's just a pair of lace-up board shorts in this gray color. So, you know, the they were in pretty good condition, so I went ahead and just grabbed them. This is an older piece um, by J. Crew. It's the boy fit shirt. It's a size six, and it is this little bird print. It's so cute. It's blue and white. I can't remember when this is from. Let's see. I do like J. Crew and a lot of brands that put when things are from. So this is almost 10 years old. I mean, it's from the holiday of 13, so nine years old. But I just thought it was cute. It's got this fun print, and that is, I mean, it's a timeless shirt. How can you go wrong with a blouse, right? Okay, this is um, a linty mess, but it's the brand Figs. It's the technical collection in a navy blue. Um, I don't pick up scrubs unless it's figs because I just don't find anything else. And this one was stain free, I believe. The thing that I, one thing that fa I failed on was a, a figs shirt just like this, but had a stain on it that I could not get out. Um, this is also figs, the technical collection, same size, and it is a black top. This one has some bleach bleach marks on the back. So I'm just going to lock them together. Uh, if somebody just is doing something maybe where they don't, doesn't matter if they have a bleach spot on them or they maybe do something around their house in scrubs, that's fine. Or they want to wear it as an undershirt under something. So I'm just going to lock those up now that I've discovered that bleach stain. This is Soft Surroundings. Um, there we go. This is size medium. And they are, these take me back to like the 80s. They're a kind of ponty knit, pont knit stirrup pant. So honestly, these, I mean, I can say equestrian. I can say that probably so that people get that vibe. Um, but if you're going to wear boots, it's nice to have that because it keeps them down. When I was a kid, you wore, you know, stirrup pants. They were all the rage. Man, were they the rage. So with your scrunchy socks and your, you know, double Velcro strapped Reeboks on the bottom and some bangly bracelets. <laughs> this is not your daughter's jeans. It's a um, camisole, like tank undershirt. I've never sold this type of thing from not your daughter's jeans, but I went ahead and picked it up because I do all right selling that brand. This is a pair of Nike um, leggings. They're Capri legging. They have a little bit of venting on the back of the leg. They're a size small. And they're older. They were from the spring of 05. But I just thought they were in really good condition. So I had a hard time leaving those there. Okay. Oops. Knocking things all over the place. So this was... An interesting find. I need to figure this out. But it's Adventures by Disney. I don't know if you get this, if you buy these, or if you get them if you're on a cruise or some sort of package. It is a duffel bag. And somehow, through the magic of the world, this thing compacts down and then it Velcros shut. Or Velcro zip shut in um, like a little zippered bag to keep it. And I just haven't figured that out yet because it seems inside out to me. So uh, I'll insert a picture of here maybe of what that's supposed to look like. But I picked that up because it was Disney and it was in really good condition. And I do okay selling Disney items. This I have no idea about. This is called Dot and Dot. I still don't know anything about this brand. Oops, Dot and Dot. 
this is a jewelry travel wallet, I presume, or not. It could be not. I don't know. We'll do some research. Actually, now I'm thinking I have no idea what this is. Dot and dot. I don't know. Maybe it holds art supplies or something. I legit have no idea what this is now that I'm looking at it. It does not hold jewelry. It doesn't seem. It must hold something else. Dot and dot travel series. I guess it could hold, oh, like your makeup brushes. It's a travel bag. So I don't know anything about dot and dot. If I find anything, I'll be sure to put that on the screen. But it was in really nice condition. Travel bags seem to do really well for me. Um, and so I pick them up if I find them. All right, this is the most random assortment of things you'll ever see me find at the bins or pick up. Oop, camera is still a little wonky here. <laughs> but, um, oh, we're just going to go with it the rest of this video. So, somebody either had a play and had all these vintage um, hats or some nice old woman died and her family donated things. I'm not sure. But this is a, um, it's the brand is the May Company. It's just a felted hat with the satin trim. Oh, not on my fat head, but <laughs> on some nice petite woman's head. Some Jackie O vibes there. And then there's this hat, which is doe skin felt, 100% wool. Made in the USA. It's the, I'm going to assume it goes like this. Well, but maybe it goes like this. I don't know. The women apparently had smaller heads than I did back in the day. Anyway, it's going to require some um, research on my part. I don't, I've never picked up vintage hats, but they were there. And I just, what, if, why should they go to a landfill? That's tragic. Um, this hat, same thing. This is the first one I found. And I'm just not sure maybe like that how that's supposed to go but I just too fabulous okay this one is unbranded as well um but it had this really cool hat pin on it and the jewel on it is missing a faux rhinestone but I felt like this was still worth picking up. Plus it weighs about 20, 20, 20 cents worth. <laughs> um, and here is one more. So these are, it kind of just makes you sad. I always, you know, what happens when you die? All your stuff goes to the goodwill with your family, family photo albums. I don't, that's just tragic. So I'm going to find some new home for that rather than them going off into the abyss of the landfill because that would just be tragic kind of like the baby clothes maybe this is the the best job for me ever <laughs> saving things from landfills okay this is a vintage um evening bag it's marshall fields which i thought was super interesting and it does say made in china but i'm think i'm sure it's vintage um and it's just got uh, a little bit of wear on it but just an evening bag you can tuck this in or out so I sometimes do formal events with my husband uh, for his work. And so I'm always looking for a new bag because your phones get bigger and some of my evening bags don't work anymore. Okay, this is Victoria's Secret, and which I don't know why you would need to see that. I'm telling you, I'm not lying about it, I promise. This is a keychain kind of thing, clip. It's a little kiss lock, it's not a kiss lock, snap lock, animal print coin purse with the Victoria's Secret pink and white stripe on the inside. I mean, I don't know anything about this, but I just thought it was fun and somebody might want that. I guess I need to do a little research on because it feels kind of cheap. Um, it's, But it's Yves Saint Laurent neckwear, but it doesn't feel, I don't know, high quality. So it does have the little YSL on the front here. Um, I just need to look into it a little bit more. But I do pick up ties sometimes. They don't always fetch a lot, but 
they weigh nothing. Okay, this is a no-name belt. It is a bonded leather um, belt in a size small, and it had the brand and everything taken off of it. I, that was irrelevant to me. I don't really care, but it's kind of a Western belt um, and a size small with this bonded leather, but this is heavy-duty hardware. It's not plastic. I mean, it's metal. And it was in good shape. It didn't have any scratches or tarnishing on it. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I like, I do like selling belts. <clears throat> this reminds me of kids that I used to probably go to high school with. I mean, I graduated in 96. So that genre of people wearing kind of hippie stuff or I don't know. The, oops, here we go. So it's a slide belt and it's got this multicolor kind of rainbow stripe slide belt and so it can adjust to any kind of size and it says on the tag it does have a PO number but no RN so I really don't know the brand but I'm just going to sell it as is um, it's just kind of a fun belt this is a I'm assuming wool it's made well the tag is taken out of it it's got the little made well thing up here on the flip up. It's just a um, be beanie. So, you know, if that doesn't sell, I will definitely take that. That is a half that fits my head. So winning. Okay. Next up are just a few remaining shoes. Oh, nope. That's a lie. One more piece of clothing item. This is the brand neon Buddha, which I do pick up, especially at the bins. Um, it's a size small and it is this super fun Oh, dang. Did, you know, I accidentally threw this in the washing machine or the dryer um, before. And I, I thought, oh, shoot, I need to take that out. I'm probably just going to take this top button off. It's broken, this top button. And I, it was not when I bought them because I, I bought this because I looked at all the buttons. But it's a funky buttoned sweater or sweatshirt with these pockets in the front. And it's got a raw hem at the bottom. So what I will do is probably just take that top button off. No one's going to button it up there, even though it has the buttonhole. Or I'll just leave it so that they can take it off. Um, and bummer, because it was in such good condition. And I do wonder if because it went through the washing machine, it got broken. So, whoops. Okay. This is a new to me brand. It is a size nine and a half um, and they're made in Brazil. So that was something I was interested in. They, the brand is FS slash NY foot sole, foot, foot sole, foot. I'll put it on the screen. I had to look it up. Um, the comps on these aren't bad. I got them because I thought the style was fun. It's animal print, calf hair, pony hair slide kind of a lo loafer um so they were in really nice condition just one of the shoes had a little bit of wear on the side where it goes over onto the ground so these are super cute they're nine and a half let's see how accurate that is Ooh, i am a nine and just about everything and those are pretty snug but i do think they're super cute so um, anyway, and then I, I don't know how many videos away, if I even put it in a video, but I, they were, there were a pair of sandals I found at the bins and I thought these look intriguing and I should probably look more into it. They were worn on the sole. I couldn't really read what the brand was, but I finally made it out. And at that point it was, um, David Piper is what the sandal was, but they're now David, uh, or Piper and Sons. Um, but they're a handmade leather sandal. They all look like this. They have one strap that goes through them. You can send them back to the company, just pay shipping and they will replace the strap at any time. They're meant to last a lifetime. They're expensive to begin with. Um, and they have... The number on here of the uh, number that it is that they made. So this one is thirty nine thousand nine hundred and forty five. So this shoe, the pair of shoes, was that number of shoes. They are a men's size nine, so that's like what a women's eleven or something. 
Um, I bought myself a pair on Mercari, I think, in my size, because um, I really liked the idea of the craftsmanship. They're in Texas, they're handmade, family owned and operated, and they're really meant to last you a lifetime. Um, and so they, they make them. I think you can get them resold as well. I can't remember, but it's a really cool company. These, or I saw them in the bins, well picked over shoe bins. And I thought those are David Piper sandals. And I grabbed them, didn't even look at them. I threw them in my cart because I knew that even if they were worn that they would sell. So there's that story on that. Um, I do think they retail new for like 150 to 200. I can't remember. The next pair of shoes I probably bought for myself. Um, but if they don't fit me, I will sell them. They're dance goes. They're a size 40, which typically I wear a 39 in dance goes, but that really is like a, it does, it's really an eight and a half in my mind and I'm a nine. So 40 sometimes work. These are a green booty with an inside zip, this lace up detail in the front, um, kind of a faux stacked heel, rubber comfort sole. These are in very nice condition and they are called the, uh, hmm, I'll put it on the screen what they're called. These are green. They need a little Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam on them, but they also are supposed to look a little antiqued or burnished, um, but these do need to be polished up. Now, the funny story about this, because I only got three pair of shoes, I walked out to my van and I tossed in all my stuff from the bins, got everything out, and I thought, where the heck is that other shoe um, of these, this shoe? And I went through everything in my car, all of these things. <laughs> couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. So I went back, traced my steps back into the outlet, walked around by the shoe bins, and sure enough, there was my one shoe on the ground. It had fallen out of my cart, so I'm so glad that I noticed it was missing. So I went through the checkout again with one shoe, <laughs> and the person who was checking me out had checked me out just the time before and they were like oh back again and i said yep just for this one shoe so this was um the this pair of shoes must have weighed about three pounds because or a little less than three pounds because i paid um a dollar maybe seven sixty nine or something for just the one shoe so anyway that's my funny story on that so glad that i found them i think they'll be fun for fall i really liked them i love dance goes so that is the story there but I do think that those hats are what are, I'm excited to research them, look into them. Um, you know, those stories, you wonder the story about who wore those and where did they wear them and what fabulous events did they wear them to. I also um, love the fact that I got some fun pieces for fall because we will be coming up on fall just before you know it, which is fine because it's been in the high 90s here in Tennessee with a thousand and ten percent humidity since uh, about 30 days ago so this is the coolest day i think today that we've had and the most rain we've had in over 30 days which is crazy so anyway that's my haul if you're interested in these kind of videos or what sold videos and sometimes i do some mystery box unboxings go ahead and subscribe hit that bell to be notified so that when i post future content you're notified that that's gone live and you can jump right on to watch my videos. Um, and also, you know, leave me a comment. What was the best thing that I got that you liked? Is there a new brand that you've never heard of? Is there something that you would never pick up? And do you pick up things for yourself when you're at the bins or when you're out thrifting? I 100% do. So anyway, I'm Trish with Source. Thanks so much for joining me and we'll see you next time. Take care.